Hey everybody, it's Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. It is, let's see, what day is it? It is Wednesday, September 1st. Oh my gosh, I can't believe just like that in the blink of an eye, summer is gone. Um, anyway, um, for those of you that don't know me, again, my name's Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark. Um, I am a full-time bank manager, uh, wife to Scott, and mom to Zach and Frank. Um, today what I've got for you is um, I've got a little cute little haul um, from one of Zach's buddies, and then I also have a designer box. Um, the haul from Zach's buddy I have not yet posted. Um, but the designer box that I'm going to show you today, I did get all of that stuff listed. It is all listed and currently available in my Poshmark closet, which will be linked in the description box. So um, anyway, last week Zach got a call from his buddy asking if he could come over and he said he had a gift for me. Um, naturally, I was super, super intrigued. And um, when Zach's buddies got here, um, his one friend had rescued from the garbage pile some purses. Um, he was at his girlfriend's house and her mom was gonna throw some purses out and he snagged them up for me. He was like, hey, Mrs. White Knight sells purses. So anyway, let me show you what he, what he got me. This first one is in a coach box, but it's not a coach, but we love the coach box anyway. This one is a green Kate Spade. And you know, it's it's showing a little bit of wear, but you know what? The inside actually is really, really decent. So um, I'm going to this weekend put a little elbow grease into this baby and clean her up and get her listed because I know, well that green is a hot color this season, so somebody's gonna want it. This is a Lily Bloom purse. And it's just a really, really cute little um, purse, cloth, like, you know, nylon type purse. I don't know if it resells for a whole bunch or not, um, but it's really, really cute. I'm going to put her in a sink full of OxyClean this weekend. It'll brighten up all those colors. And if she doesn't sell on Poshmark, I've got an opportunity um, maybe to put some things in a resale shop. Um, so that'll be a great piece for that. And then we have, we've got this coach wallet. And sadly, because it is just cute as the Dickens, sadly, I do believe that this is probably not an authentic um, coach. So, um... I, should, I guess I should have went over this a little bit more before this video, um, but I am 99% sure for a few reasons. Um, just the material, the way the lining feels, and the way the C's are. So, um, you know, I, I, I'm going to do a Google Lens search just to be sure. Uh, but I, I'm just 99% certain that this this piece is fake. Um, and if it is, then I, I unfortunately can't sell it. Um, but it's still just the sweetest thing for him to rescue these purses for me. Then we have this coach, um, and I, you know, I don't know what these things are called. It has like one. It only has one strap. So, I don't know if it's missing a strap or, but something tells me it's not missing a strap. I think, because I see people wearing bags really weird nowadays, and I bet you, like, this is it. So, um, anyway, this is, like, almost in brand new, unused condition. I mean, there's, like... Something under there, I don't know what, white something. Um, but, I mean, it really, 
it does not appear truly that this bag has been used. So if y'all know a name for this or if it's if it's missing a piece and I'm just an idiot, I just feel like it's, I don't know, and the straps adjustable, I just, I feel like this is one of those newfangled things, but you guys let me know. Um, I'm going to list it anyway, though. I, I think it's a great, great piece. And I don't know why I haven't gotten around to it. I just, I don't know. I, well, I was kind of working on the death pile in mom's room, which I got almost completely finished. So, and then this last purse is a DKNY, um, big fabric bag and the inside is in pretty decent condition. She's got a removable crossbody strap. Um, the only thing wrong with this is there is a little bit of corrosion around the, the bottom there. I, you know what, this, this bag does definitely need some cleaning up, but, um, there is, see right there, the corner wore through. So anyway, um, but it's still a salvageable bag. So in fact, my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law like it. So, um, I don't know if she's going to end up taking it or not, but we'll see. So that was my haul, my little mini haul from Zach's buddy. I just, I just thought it was so thoughtful of him, you know, to think of me and grab the stuff and bring it. And, you know, he's got a great group of friends. So truly, I'm truly blessed there. So next up I have this, um, it's a designer DIY box. It is from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. And again, I have peeked at this box. I have listed everything. It is all available in my Poshmark closet. And um, so I kind of feel like the boxes might be getting a little bit better again because I know for a while um, they were, you know, not so great. Like maybe one piece was great and then the rest of it was not so great. Um, but anyway, I kind of think they're, they're, they're back. So the first item that I have is this. Red Valentino ruffled tote bag. This baby retails for $1,142. I mean, wow. Who pays that kind of money for a handbag? And then when you do pay that kind of money for a handbag, who the hell junks it up? I had to vacuum this bitch like nobody's business. I mean, really. And it's still... I mean, I got all the... Like, anything that was not attached to the lining I got out but it's the lining still a tad dirty and because of the material it's um a fabric type material I didn't I was afraid to, to try to clean it um and especially because it's a red valentino I didn't want to ruin it most people that I talk to have the attitude of it's inside people aren't looking inside my purse the outside is what matters and actually the outside of this bag is truly truly in fantastic condition with the exception of a little bit of strap wear um, and it's just it's the edge coating and I know you can get that fixed I don't know where um, I know there's another reseller sweet Lily she knows how to do it I believe um, but I've tried it I've tried you know taking it into my cobbler to see if he'll fix it. He doesn't do edge coating, um, and I don't know anybody that does leatherworks. But anyway, I'm babbling. So here is the, the inside of this bag. I don't know if you guys can tell. I mean, I've, I've vacuumed the heck out of it and cleaned it up as good as I could. Um, but it has a light, a light pink interior. There's an inside zip and slip pocket. It does say... I don't know I'm having a time today okay it does say it does say red Valentino in there the, the middle section so there's three it's divided into three sections inside and the middle section is a zipper section um, 
but there, you know, there is some, there is some boo-boos and staining, you know, and marks, but fantastic bag. Absolutely fantastic bag. Other, you know, other than that. So, um, if you, if you desire this bag and you go to my Poshmark and you're not a fan of the price, shoot me an offer. Um, and for sure, let me know that you're a subscriber and I will definitely send you a, a good price, okay? So I want everybody to be happy. And my next piece is this Burberry Baby scarf. And the little, the Burberry tag is, oh gosh, can you guys see it? I don't want to touch it too much because... It's only held on by one. What is wrong with me today? Okay, it's only held on by one little thread. So anyway, it's a Burberry silk scarf. It's very, very big. I think it measured like 72 by 24 or 25, something like that. Now, she does have some boo-boos. She does have, you know, a few pulls and she has a few marks. Um, and she's missing the, um, fabric content little, um, tag. And then there's another little tag. Anyway, she's missing those. Um, but with that being said, this scarf just needs a good clean and she'll be ready for the season so and again she's listed if you don't like the price um send me a counter offer the next one is of course y'all <laughs> of course it's a long shop but it's a mini long shop it's a little teeny tiny one and you know what she's a little bit dirty i love this color it's the perfect well, I hate to say pumpkin because I'm still in the summer mode, but in here in Michigan, it, it is going to be fall very soon, and this is a great fall color, but unfortunately, um, the corners on this are shot, and the bag's a little dirty, so she's going to get a soak in some OxyClean, and then she's going to get put with my other long shot bags that um, are going off for corner repair. I think I have probably, I don't know, five, six, seven, something like that. So any, but anyway, um, so that will be available next fall, in case you're wondering. And next up, I have these amazing, amazing Jimmy Choo's. These are Python. The heels on them are, are in excellent condition. I mean, there's not even any little nicks. You know how usually us girls nick the backs of our heels or even the inside? There is, there's none of that on these shoes. But anyway, they are a peep toe, Python, Jimmy Choo. They are a size 38, which is a 7, unfortunately, in U.S. sizes. Um, because rest assured, not that I could ever go anywhere in these shoes, but my fat ass did try to put them on. Because I was thinking they were an 8. And I was trying like hell to stuff my foot in there. And even though I've lost weight in my feet, I haven't lost weight all the way down to a 7. I couldn't get them on. But you know what? If I could have gotten these on, I've got my skinny, um, distressed, ripped jeans on. I would have at least strutted around the house in these bad boys. But, couldn't get them on. Next up is this Black Label Ralph Lauren Cashmere V-neck Cashmere Sweater in a size medium. She is gorgeous. She retails for about $450. Um, she does, you know what? She does need a little bit of a sweater shave, not gonna lie. And I did buy a sweater shaver, but 
I have not had I've not used it yet I've never used one before and I thought no it's you don't practice on a Ralph Lauren cashmere sweater that can potentially bring a nice little return so um, I'll find something else to practice with and let's see next piece is this Diane von Furstenberg sheath dress with a hidden back zip and she's got some stretch to it in the back the front not so much the front is made from mixed materials um, and there's silk in here somewhere. I do believe it might be the lining. Now, there is a boo-boo on the front of this dress. It is. I don't know if you can see it or not. It is right there. I'm going to tell you what. Um, the print on this dress is so busy that when, it, you know, I'm sure it would probably come out in the, cl in the cleaners. But if it didn't, um... The print's so busy on this dress, nobody is going to notice that there's a little bit of a spot. Um, I mean, just look at that. And I just love the purple stripe down the side. Um, anyway, Diane von Furstenberg, size 2, mixed materials. There's cotton, there's silk, there's something stretchy in the back. And again, she is listed in my Poshmark closet. And last, last but not least, is Versace. Versace sunglasses. They come in the box. They have this on the back. Um, when we open the box... We have the Versace um, leather case. And then, well, these are Versace Cat Eye Havana something frames is what they're called. They've got a pink lens. And I just think they're cute as hell. Mom didn't care for them on me, so I'm, I'm not going to keep them. I listed them. But it also, and you know, I actually wonder if anybody wore these because it literally has everything inside the box. It has, like, this little thing. Oh, look, and I bet I could have scanned it and found out exactly what glasses these were. Um, but it has this little thing. It has the cleaning, the Versace cleaning cloth still in, in the wrapper. And you can't see the Versace because it's embossed on there. And then it's got this little warranty booklet. So, like, everything is in here. So I don't know if these were ever worn or not. But again, they are up for sale. And I did not see anything wrong with those when I had them on. I did not see any line of sight scratches. In my description, because I can't verify that they're new and unused, I did put that they were used, and I did put that there might be scratches present. Um, just because I'm, I'm starting to put, like, little disclaimers and things that, you know, this is a used item. There may be, you know, because I've gotten some uh, you know had a couple of returns for some pretty stupid reasons you know and so i'm trying to cover a little bit more in my description because poshmark you know in the beginning poshmark would lit i felt would listen to the seller um and more often than not takes take the seller's side um but lately I'm finding out that, excuse me, excuse me, it doesn't really matter. They're, you know, they're kind of just, you know, taking, taking the word of the buyer now um, is what really what I'm trying to get out. And I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with my words today. 
Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe I hadn't, haven't had enough in adult interaction. Because <laughs> you all know I'm on vacation this week. Um, if I didn't, hadn't mentioned that before. But anyway, what do you guys think of my box? I'm really, really happy with it. I think I have a potential to make, um, to definitely make my money back and then make a nice little profit, even with um, the Launchant bag. Because, um, you know, look, let's face it. Once, once I do get, um, you know, get the bag cleaned up, get it sent out for the corners fixed, it's still not going to fetch a lot. So, um, anyway, but I actually, you know, today I was, I was really, really happy with my box and I was really, really glad to see this purse in there because really I, I love designer things. Um, and I love purses. <laughs> And you all know I don't really like to touch shoes, but I am getting better at it, especially when they're um, expensive, pricey shoes that I that I like, that I want to put my feet in. I clean them up pretty quick and then put my feet in them, or try to anyway. So that's that. That's what I have for you today. I do believe I have... I think I have a name brand handbag box coming. I think I have a couple of fun boxes coming. Um, I haven't been ordering real heavy this week because like I said, I want to try to get through the death piles and, um, excuse me, I still have two scarf boxes that um, I've gone through, I've looked at a couple of times and I'm just overwhelmed because it, it really wasn't what I hoped it would be. I had hoped I was going to get nice little, pretty little silk scarves that I could tie on handbags. And no, I didn't get that. At least, I mean, I got some, but then I got other stuff. And I got wraps and I got infinity scarves. And I got things that I don't even know what they are. And so, um, one of these days, I will get to those boxes. Um... I know one of those boxes had a Lululemon something in it, so I probably should get that one out and see what it's all about. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I don't have any weight loss updates. Excuse me. Um, I did go today. I got some blood work done. Um, so I'll find out if I have any if I if I have any deficiencies or if I'm lacking anywhere or what what extra vitamins I may need. But other than that, everything is, everything is just going. Um, I'm moving right along. My clothes are getting baggier and baggier. And um, so hopefully soon I'm gonna start fitting into some of this stuff. Cause once I start fitting into some of this stuff, I might even like do a little model runway catwalk or something who knows um because we got to mix up these videos and and stuff like that you know we're all just showing what we got we're describing it um I, you know i i don't know not that i mean i don't know if you guys want to see me model shit or not but i just thought it would be fun once i get you know get down to that size if i'm going to continue opening the boxes beforehand, you know, maybe I'll just surprise you one day and have an outfit on that came from a box. Who knows? Anyway, with that, um, thank you again for watching. If this is your first time here and you enjoyed yourself, please hit the like button and also subscribe. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll get notified anytime I post a new video, which, you know, is for sure once a week, sometimes more depending on how I'm feeling. And for those of you that are missing Frank right now, I am sorry, but he had a rough day today. He's taking a napper with his daddy, um, so I'm sure he'll be back next time, though. With that, I'm out. Peace. Have a great night.